General Electric is reportedly considering a public offering or a spin-off of its transportation business. According to the Wall Street Journal, GE has been examining different scenarios for the division. Such a move would be part of a bigger restructuring at the company, which has seen its stock fall about 25 percent this year alone. In an interview with CNBC, CEO John Flannery discussed GE's road ahead. And Morgan Brennan has more. General Electric CEO and Chairman John Flannery once again reiterating his strategy to turn around the struggling industrial company. We know we have great franchises. We know we can run them better. Mm -hmm. All those things, cash, capital. So there's a nucleus of strength and improvement that we see right in front of us. I also came in and said, we're in, it's just too many things at once. My core responsibility is to make sure those businesses flourish in the future for the employees, for the customers, for investors. And in that context, I'm open to any way I can make that happen. But it's still a strategy without many details. Also, not exactly ruling out the possibility of a broader breakup. Even though GE also does a lot of business and manufacturing in China, Flannery is not worried about a trade war between the U.S. and that country. I think fundamentally, you know, my belief is over time, people are rational about what, uh, what is in their collective best interest. So when I look at that, I say this will sort out over time in a sensible way for both parties. So uh, will there be a lot of noise? Will there be a lot of, you know, uh, maybe drama along the way? Probably. GE's chief executive, who's been at the helm since August, addressed the challenge of keeping good people on board, even as steep cost cuts have resulted in tens of thousands of layoffs. Anytime you're in a situation like this where there's, you know, uh, stresses, change, pressure, there, there is, there, there's a, an element of that population that really rises up and says, hey, I, I love being in this right now. This is yeah. like an amazing opportunity. I can help reshape an iconic company. I can help, you know, be part of a turnaround. That, that is an incredibly motivating uh, force to people. All of this as investors await restated financial results for the past two years thanks to new accounting rules. And then first quarter earnings, which are due out next Friday, followed by a shareholder meeting at the end of the month. Meantime, given all of the uncertainty around the company, the stock is down another 25 percent this year and more than 50 percent over the past 12 months. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.